It's Friday. Welcome back. It's, we're on air. Uh, what I have to do today is I have to make the tunnel in the car fit the transmission. And the reason I have to make the tunnel in the car fit the transmission because the engine's leaning back too, back too far. You see me when I tried on the exhaust manifolds. They did not work. But in order for me to really get a true read, I have to have the engine in the place where it needs to be so I can actually see what works and what doesn't. And uh, what I have to do is, is I have to make the transmission tunnel fit the transmission. Uh, I've got, I've got the, this all on here, the covering all on the engine. I've got that pretty well figured out and dialed in. I've got the, the round rod around this piece. I've got the round rod around that piece stuck in the firewall. The round rods around, welded on that piece. I've got this front piece mounted. I put a little 90 on the front of this so this piece can't go down. I also did this uh, yesterday. The, the shaker, I just took and mounted some brackets on the bottom of this and mounted some brackets on the shaker and then bolted the shaker to this piece. So now it's not actually on the engine. So it's not really going to shake unless I put some springs in there or something, who knows. But what I'm saying is I've got it, what I've got, what I'm happy with is the distance that I have all the way around it and how it looks and how it's setting there. Basically, so when you open the hood, um, it's going to look like a shaker, um, but it's not shaking, <laughs> basically. But so what, what I'm on to right now, I've got this all figured out. I've got it dialed in. So if I, when I paint it and then I put it back on, it's all going to come off and it's all going to go back on. I could take it off for you, but I don't see there's any sense taking it off and on. You'll see after a while. But I do have the exhaust manifolds that we watched the other day. They did not fit. And uh, that's what I have to deal with. And as I'm looking at it, I'm going to pull the steering column out because I'm going to try to do it right in front of your very eyes. I'll pull the steering column out. This is our steering column. There's a bunch of things I have to do, and it all has to go in, in sequence, you know. I, I just can't, uh, what can I say? I just can't, you know, paint the car when, when, you know, I haven't got the inside the firewall done. You know, Jolene said, put some paint on the outside of the car. Well, I haven't got this in here done. I wouldn't really want to climb over the car to get in there to paint that. So basically, I have to get everything working or everything done in order to put some paint on it or go for the body. Uh, we did get some paint on the hood last night. Um, the fan took a poop. It's done. It's over. Uh, but that's okay. It's over. But we got some paint on that just to, for the underneath of it to get some paint on it. But right now, as, as I'm in the, in the car here, I'm going to take a look here. As I'm in the car, if you want to come to the other side, Jolene, take a look or this side. I'm on my butt. Is it going to bother my mic? It might. May, it might. Um, what I've got going on, that transmission is hitting, is hitting right there in the center of this tunnel. Um, well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pattern and I'm going to take it from there to there and just make a piece to put in there and I'm going to show how I'm going to do it. I got some filler in there because I remember, or I, I can tell that I replaced these floor pans at one time and when I did this car, in order to make it look like I have underneath and like it looks like underneath or inside I had to I filled it out so I filled both sides I filled this uh, this top side and I filled the underneath side that's why the underneath this car looks so good because I took the time to do that and that's what it takes when you're doing stuff like this um, you're not welding or when you're welding panels and you want the underneath to look as good as the top um, that's where the filling work comes in so basically that's what I'm going to do right at the present moment I'm going to make a piece well, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make the piece, trace the piece, cut the piece out, and then apply the piece that I've made. I'm going to get Jolene to check my mic because I want her to touch me because she looks amazing today. It's going good? It's all right? All right, so I'm going to do that. So basically what I've done here is I've taken the, the jack and I've, I've jacked up the, the transmission and the engine. It's only about that far away. I think I showed it before. And for those who were not watching, we have an LS engine in this in this bad boy. Uh, I wasn't set up for that when I first done it. So I've got about that much room for the end transmission to hit. There is a little, there's a, I don't know what you would call it, um, a gusset 
on the transmission that runs up the center that I could grind off and make it come up a bit further, but I, I can't get that, that right now. So I might as well make the tunnel a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard, get a marker, I'm not set up yet, but I'm gonna be. It's Friday, I hope everybody's having a great Friday. And basically what, I, what I'm gonna say is, what's going on in the world right today, we must feel lucky. We must feel lucky. You must, you must show appreciation. If you're watching these videos, you must feel, you know, you must feel lucky. That's basically all I'm going to say. You, you've got to um, appreciate what we have. Appreciate what we have, because I know I do. I appreciate what we have. And if I don't, if I couldn't appreciate what we have, how would I appreciate with uh, with more? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tunnel for this. I need a pair of scissors. I'm going to open this up, sweetheart. Seats aren't tied down. Me and Jolene went and looked at a 58 Lincoln this morning. 58 Lincoln this morning. He wasn't interested in filming, but it was a nice car. It was, it was a nice car. Um, what can I say about it? The, the man that did the work on it did a good job on it. Um, it was a nice car. It needs to be put back together, but what, it was a nice car. Like, the motor sounded good in it. Um, it, it makes me think. <laughs> Did you want me to open the other door for the other side for you? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll open the door for the other side. We'll get Jolene set up so you can see what I'm doing. So if you want to make a tunnel for your car or whatever, you know, we're just watching here and, and going with what we're going with. Um, I'll trade you places if you want. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, make a pattern like I always do, and then we'll make that tunnel just a little bit bigger. I wonder, there will be a, there will be a day that, there will be a day that the, that the customizing or the, or the fabrication work will be over. There will be a day, won't there, sweetheart? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're telling ourselves anyways. <laughs> there will be a day. So I'm just going to draw that down there. Just kind of line it up. Just going to eye it up for now. And that's basically what I do is just take a piece of paper and eye it up. We're not going to make it too hard on ourselves. And if it does not pan out, you can just grab another piece of paper and go for it again. Like papers. And I have to thank the person that bought this rest of the board. It's been nothing but a godsend. <laughs> it's been nothing but a godsend. Appreciate it. All right, this is what I'm going to do. As I got this going on here, as I just set that on there, you can see the distance away I am from this tunnel, from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that distance and cut it off the front of this. And I'm guessing. All right, I'm guessing. All right, that's a little better. That's a little better. A little better. Now, let's take a little bit more off the corners, see what happens. Get this marker to mumble so I can talk. And it shouldn't hurt anything. I'm going to have to have my own carpet in it, anyways. Basically, because I put this in there, and this is this box that I got going on in here. Um, the engine is back quite a ways. Uh, there was a good suggestion. The engine's back quite a ways on this, so I think it would be better on the front suspension and the steering. But there was a suggestion um, where I'm going to put the wiring through there. I would never want to do that because the dash wouldn't hide it. So when the dash comes in, I think I'll have the wiring will go up here and then go over. I'm glad we didn't cut the hole. I'm glad we didn't cut the hole. Gonna cut it back a little bit more. Just gonna cut it back a little bit more. Gonna cut, gonna cut, gonna cut my very first mark. How's that? 
didn't go there the first time because it's not helping me. Okay, I'm gonna go slow here. cutting too much off and I'm making the wrong cut. I'm thinking I'm making the wrong cut. Being a little more difficult than I think. Alright, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do one side at a time and then see if I can't I don't want to make too big of a thing. I want to come back to about here somewhere. What I'm thinking, I don't go way back here. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Stop it. Stop it. Let's see what happens. I can always add to it or take away. up a little bit more further, like this side. Just trying to make it the same. Make it look the best I can. Superman. Alrighty, that don't look bad because it comes back to a point there. We're running down the sides nice. What I don't like is the top. And what I think is if I put some three quarter inch take and cut a piece and add it to the top. Add that back there. I'm gonna get some tape. I'm gonna get some tape and try it. There's no sense in me cutting the metal and then doing it after. There's some tape right here. Gonna tape it on. Hope I'm not bothering the mic. Julian looks amazing today if I didn't say so. Already. She said, Are you gonna be able to focus after looking at that car? <laughs> and I said, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, it's too bad you didn't get to see it. It was a very nice car. Uh, the man that done the done the job on it seemed to do a very good job. Now, if I took and hmm, if I put that on there like that, I can weld that on there, weld that back there. I can draw that on there, and that front piece will have to be bent up. So there'll have to be a piece on there, and then bend it up a little bit so it connects. All right. Just want to make it a little bit better. Hard sitting on the way I'm sitting in here for this. Ugh. Get yourself comfortable, Chatty. Get yourself comfortable. All right, I'm liking everything except the top. Everything except the top. So if I took a piece of tape, that's so dirty that I don't know if it'll ever stick. 
just want to hold it there and stick it there so I can I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this and then I'll bend the tab up after and I'll make the piece of metal and then we'll go from there. And the reason being is I'm taking that and making that going up a little higher because the transmission is hitting right there. And uh, for me to step it up one more time is not gonna hurt it any. Also, when I put this piece in, we'll see. Let's, let's do it. Doesn't look. All right, let's get a piece of metal. Hey, beautiful. Hey, hey. You going my way? Yeah, let me check your mic. You want to check my mic? Good. Okay. I got a lot of 18 gauge around here. That's generally what I use. And uh, it's a rough go sometimes, the old 18 gauge, because of the fact it's, it's a lot harder to bend. But that's what I use, so top of the markers right there. My glasses are right there. I need a rag to wipe the metal off for it. So it's one one hurdle after another with this car. What I think I'm gonna do with the exhaust manifolds, what I'm gonna do is you can buy a kit. You can buy a kit, you make your own, and what you do is you get the metal or the steel um, fit or plate that bolts up to the engine, and then they give you a bunch of exhaust pipe that's all bent. You have to cut it to make it the shape that you want. So basically, I might do that. Now, this one, I don't mind this shape. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hmm, little, I'm going to do that shape. I mark that there. The shape that you use that shape there. So I just want to use this side. Let's flop it over. To do this side. Just try to get me the same, you know. Oh. This side wasn't the same, so now I'm saying my piece should be basically the same. Not bad. So when I drew this out, you can see that it's crooked. Like I've got it, this part over here is cut over more so than this one. So basically what I wanted to do, I wanted to make it look better, a better triangle. So I just flopped it over and used this side on this one, made a mark on that one, and flopped it over and used this side to do this one. So I used this angle here on both sides. Alrighty. Bum, 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 bum. We'll throw that right there. Let's go cut this bad boy out. And what I think I'll do is I'll cut it on the shear if I can. See what happens. Hello, Fina. Snowing here today. So it's twice as dangerous out there as it is normally because the simple reason is we've got ice down. And as soon as you step on the ice with a little bit of snow, all you have to do is say, yeehaw, because you're going for a ride. Basically, that's what happens. Ah, can't really, yeah, okay, now you see now. I'll tell you, the reason I looked at the 58, the 58 Lincoln is I like I like the body. I like the body of it. But I do not like 
I say I do not like, but I'm not um, partial to the roof uh, on that car. So what I was thinking is, is I would change the roof on it to make it look the way I want it to. But I have to come, I have to be in reality. And sometimes reality, reality, reality overrules. I've got a couple things I'm doing right at the present moment, as you can't tell. <laughs> Man, she's cutting good this morning. She's cutting good this morning. But the car is worth every penny that he wants for it. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. If you want to look at look, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? You know, he's both sides. Looks good. Now let's go roll it. See what happens. So this stuff can get get confusing. Uh, this that stuff can get confusing. And the reason it, I'm just going to put it in the other roller because the roller's there in the way. I'm just going to go over here and do it by do it manually. Uh, it can get confusing doing a tunnel. Just take your time with the with the we'll go in the middle. Take your time with a piece of Bristol board like I did, and uh, you can do the exact same thing I did. Make it make it easy on yourself and do a good job. Let's try this before we go any further. I know I'm going to bend that end up because it didn't fit right. I'll go to the other side and Jolene can have this side for the... Yeah, it's just a hurdle after hurdle after hurdle, you know, for this car. And uh, I guess it's because I'm making everything. Making the windows, making, making everything. That's not bad. That looks good. That has to turn down some more. We'll leave that for last. We'll just turn this down some more. That's going to have to be bent up to get that in there. Let's bend her down around some more. Probably could bend it by hand, I suppose. Yeah. Don't need that thing in there. No, not at all. I'm big, fat, and tough, ain't I, baby? Huh? Big, fat, and tough. Big, fat, and tough. All right. Now let's 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 bend a little piece up in there. We got that distance away. So let's take a look. Go niche. So I'm just going to draw that across there. See if we can't get it bent. I know we can bend it, it's just a matter of doing it. Hmm. Should should have a straight line across here to go by, shouldn't I? Just so I get it straight. We'll go one here and one there. See, I might have fooled myself. You never know. Not quite sure. No, still not gonna do it for me. What do I have, what do I have to do there to get that down? Maybe I have to make this come to a point. Probably what I have to do. Let's straighten that back out. I'm just going to put that on there. Maybe I 
have to make that come to a point. That looks like what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to make this come to a point. When I flatten that out, it pulls me away. So, I made the wrong decision. And I've done that in my life a few times. And uh, done that in my life a few times. Now I'm going to fix it. Watch your ears, sweetheart. I'm going to, I don't know if I want to hammer that. I'm going to cut it off, most of it off. So I, I'm, not, I'm not going to mind if I hammer this at all because I'm going to cut it off to a point, so I'll be cutting most of it off. So we're just going to hammer it out. We don't want to beat it up too much. It's what we're... Hmm. Let's take it back and try it on there before I make another decision before what I do. Oh, Fina wants in. No, again. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my pattern before I cut this. That's what I'm going to do. Eh, my pattern doesn't look like this, though. Let's see if I can get my pattern to look like this now. <laughs> pattern doesn't look like that. Going to the other side. It'd be easy, you know, I should actually cut the pattern and make the pattern fit. That's what I should do, to be honest with you. That's what I should do. And. It's going to have to come to a point, as I, I can tell, because fit, it fits nice down here on that one. So why wouldn't it fit up there nice on that one? So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to center. I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to draw a line from this point to that point, that point to that point, and see what happens. Can you rotate it? What's that? Could you rotate it? I can. No. Fits down there nice, I don't know, because it's flat. Just having an issue fit, make it fit there, that's all. I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to cut a line. I'm actually going to put it back on that pattern, make that pattern fit this and try it instead of cutting my metal. I don't want to ruin my metal. I don't think I want to. leave that alone to my top. So I want to go here to that point, to the center, and to that point. A pair of scissors, we'll cut that and then we'll try it. I think it's a better choice. All right, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Take that back off. We're getting closer. This point here, those two points here are the same as these ones down here are not the same. So it don't matter. These two points here are going good. Try that again. Try that again. Try that again. Just 
going to make it smaller from that point and we'll go to this point. Trial and error. That's all I'm doing is trial and error, obviously. Trial and error. I'm getting further away or I need them scissors. Getting closer. This one over here I like, and this one over here I don't like. This line over here I like. Gap going on there. I got some we'll get her. what we want. Alrighty. Ow. Alrighty. Where the now I know these two lines down here aren't the same, so what I'm gonna to try to do is put them on them, try to center that. What I'm gonna to try to do is point that point there, that point there, and that's what we're gonna do. I wanna center this up here, I think. take a look at it first yeah don't look bad we'll cut it off cut it off in this thing over here
basically all I did is try to center it and just I I'm just eyeing it up. That thing there is crooked as the crooked as a ram's horn. So what I did is I just tried to eye it up in the center of this. I'm hoping that it's going to fit now. I'm going to go to this side just so Jolene can have her her filming side. Let's do it again. Now. Paper seems to fit a lot nicer, <laughs> doesn't it? What? Yeah. Why is that not doing my trick? The paper fits a lot nicer. Why is that? Why is the paper fit a lot nicer? Baby? Why am I having such an issue? Why am I having an issue? Can you pass me that? Paper? I'm going to grab that paper. I'll get that. Ah, I know what's going on. Not bent at the center of this. It's still flat. You know what I'm saying? I think the paper, what I'm thinking is, is the paper, I got it bent around maybe. We'll see. I'm gonna bend it some more. center of this bad boy. Let's see what happens. I like one side better than the other. See what happens. Going to the other side. Having a little bit of an issue, I guess. There we go. Now we're talking. It had to bend it a little bit more, that's all. There we go. Bend it a little bit more. that corner, knock off that corner. Looks better, don't it? Mm -hmm. Looks better. That's tight down there. It's not so tight on this one over here, though. center. Now, I don't want to beat it up too much, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to beat it up too much. And, I'm having an issue with this side. That side's fitting good. got a different hump going on right here than I do right there and it's not allowing my piece of metal to go down where it wants to be cut a little bit off that it's playing with me I'm going to take a grinder and take that off. It's going to be too hard to do it that way. Now, plug the old zip cut in.
Now I'm getting serious. That's better. That's better. Now we're in, now we're talking turkey. I need bent down like the hunt. Do I want that over there? Some in the center? What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to tack this one down. Do. I'd almost like to tack it in place and then I don't want to cut anything out, that's for sure. I'm going to take a little bit off that up top there. I don't want to cut anything out of that tunnel before I make it fit because I do not want to make the hole too, too big. shape going on there right there so what I'm going to do is let's get the welder going what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it in place and make sure that it fits. I'm gonna tack it in place, make sure that it fits, and then when I'll untack it, and then cut the hole at what I want, and then I'll weld it in. What's gonna happen is, this is what's gonna happen. There's gonna be some excess metal that's left over, so I'm gonna cut the hole small compared to the, to the piece that I'm doing. Um, how do I explain this? As I'm doing this, is what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna tack the piece in place, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll make sure it fits in the place it fits. Then I will trace the outside of the perimeter of that piece. Then I will zip cut it, take it off, and then I will go in probably a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside line and cut it off there. And then when I weld the piece in, when I get the car off, then I can go underneath and grind off what's left. For me to try to match that up perfectly and butt weld that in there, I think it would be a mistake. And the reason I think it would be a mistake, because I could mess it up. And uh, if I do it the way I say I'm going to do it, well, that means that I'm, I am allowing, well, I won't, I won't cut it too, the hole too big. I will have metal left on the inside, underneath, but I will know exactly when I pull the body off, because I am pulling the body off to do things. So when I pull the body off, I've got the new tunnel in there, and I will have probably an eighth of an inch or probably quarter of an inch all the way around of the metal that's still left on there. And that's when I can take the flapper wheel and flapper wheel it all off so it looks nice. Uh, there we go. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to show you right for your very eyes anyway, so 
Here we go. Here we go. Got a haircut. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got a haircut. Baby, give me a haircut last night. Looking good, ain't I? Looking good. Looking good. Jolene is, anyways. Looking good. Jolene always looks good. Alrighty. So basically, what's going on here is I do not want to make my tunnel too small. I'm going to put that helmet on with the hay. Try not to cover up that nice haircut Joey give me, but... All right, I'm going to just tack it on here. Ground. What? Need a ground. Baby said I need a ground. Need a ground, Chad. Need a ground. Get yourself grounded, boy. Get yourself grounded. Just a small little tack. That's all I want is a small little tack. Now, as I have that in there, this is what I'm going to do now. So this is allowing my, the center of my transmission to come up higher. This part over here is fine. This part over here is fine. It's in the center where it was being a bugger. And you'll never see it. So there's my line. There's my line. There's my line. I made those hard to get off, didn't I? Or that one there I did. Gonna have to get my zip cut. Shut that off for a second. Just take me a second to get that. Just want to look at it too. second oh plenty of distance away from the sides that's what I was thinking about the side of the transmission got plenty of distance away from there like a lot much lots of distance there I have about zip cut check your mic. extension cord you want to check my mic Do you want to touch me again boys also I was thinking you know <laughs> uh, I would even drive Elvis without a hood on it it looks kind of cool um, I remember years ago, there was a, a friend in high school that had a, a dart that he drove around with the, hood, with the hood off and had the hood hinges sticking up. It looked, it looked pretty cool. It was cool. It was cool. I'm just going to knock this off. Took a little bit to get where I'm going, but um, once we get it, we'll be some happy. Won't we? I think we will. I, do, I don't want to cut on that line just in case I get too, if I get it too big, then I got a big gap or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut. I actually, I'm going to cut in here about this far. And that way there, I still got some metal to press down on. And it's not going to be, not going to make a boo-boo a that I don't want to make. So I'm going to leave a little bit of excess metal here. 
And the reason I'm going to leave an access metal there, I could put it on and try to butt weld it and cut it that way, but I want the piece of metal to come out to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut this metal out even before I put it on. So butting it and cutting it is not the option I want to go with right now. I want to cut the piece out and then apply the piece. And then that way there I can see what's going on. I hope it doesn't scare me, but uh, that's what's going on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece out and knowing that my piece is fitting up here so I've got enough metal to weld this piece on. When I pull the body off there might be some metal hanging over but that's when I go underneath and I can flap or wheel it off so it looks good. So I'm going to cut that out. I am, I am, I am. Not the most comfortable place to work right at the present moment but it is what it is. <laughs> back and forth not making it any easier on me stuff like this is not sometimes easy it's just what you got to do to get it done Urgh. like getting the grinder disc off just wanted to leave a little extra meat so I didn't mess up when I put my piece on wrong door Sometimes it happens to the best of us. So the transmission should be right at the point. I'm <laughs> seeing, a, and I really don't know because I'm not underneath there. I am guessing a bit, obviously, like I always do. Guessing um, the transmission should be right close, right there. That's where it was hitting before. So. Transmission, do I? 
Honey. <laughs> no. Chad, don't cut the transmission. Pretty close, isn't it? Ah. Now, gotta get that corner somehow. Don't want to cut anything. be. Now, not so bad. Clean that out now. <laughs> gotta watch that stuff. You got a fire underneath that fucking seat. Ah, I need a, some water. You need water anywhere, baby? Uh, is there any in the jug? That, that seat's on fire. Excuse my licorice. Ah! I put air on it. You know what's going to happen? It's going to take off. Come on. Yeah. Get snow. Huh? Snow. Good call. Baby's all not all good looks. She got she knows what's going on. See no smoke, do you? No. That's how it happens, people. That's how it happens. Now, I should pull the seats bolted in, I think. See any smoke? No. Where there's smoke, there's fire, so you've got no smoke. Red down in there is what I've seen. Scary shit, right? That's scary shit when that happens. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Got a blanket over there. I'd rather catch the blanket on fire and have it have it be seen than down inside that seat. Smoke. Not something I want to happen, that's for sure. That is for sure. We got some snow down in there, we should be fine. Alrighty, back in action. <laughs> and well, basically somewhat. Here we go. 
This piece right here was hitting on uh, this pe this piece right here was hitting right there, and that's the brace I was talking about that come across there like that, obviously. So that piece there was hitting right on top of that. So now that we have this, we have all this distance here, well, this distance from here to there, and there up to here, and there over there. So we've got we've gained an inch or more. So basically, that's what we wanted to do. Now I'm going to clean off the edge so I can still get another seat. I know we will after this video we will pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> Believe me. out of here. Good thing we got snow, eh? Yeah. God bless the snow. Spark it down inside that seat. The seats are so... Do you want to check my mic at all, did you? Can you yeah. Don't matter what I got to say. <laughs> all, you to, all you have to do is watch. that grounded it must be a good good a good
more smoke. What's this, sweetheart? There's smoke coming up there. But... Yeah, underneath the car. Hope we don't catch you underneath if we're on fire. <laughs> huh? Baby? We're just tacking, so it's not like we're blasting it, right? I want to knock that little piece of weld off because I think it's holding me up a little bit. Be careful at all times, I guess. Watch your eyes. Are going. <laughs> Get back out and take this. <sighs> Ouch. My back. I don't know if I want to hit that with a hammer. No, it, did, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I'm gonna get my grinder, just to make it a little tighter. Third arm and push that on on that side. Looks good over here. When I get the body off, then I'll trim it all underneath. I'm gonna get my third arm. Do not want to do any kind of welding that's continuous there at all. See where we're, we just had a fire um, scare. So everything's gonna be spot, 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 full time. There's no gonna be none of this, you know, giving her, giving her, because uh, don't want anything to happen. But we got it fitting tight and right. We'll say that. We're, we're good there. That was just adjusting the paper pattern. That's all that was. Adjusting the paper pattern. Let's push this in there so it's tight. Let's be getting... There we go. Top of the map, that's what's going on there. Just gonna get my hammer, knock that down tight. Sitting on a piece of weld there in the corner, I would say. And it's not bad, it's, it's a gradual going up. There's nothing all bent up about it, which is nice. what I wanted. There we go. Happier about that. It's not tight. Get your hammer. Tight and right, buddy.
is where I'm going to have a little bit of an issue. You might have to be shrunken right there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Who knew? That's up. Still, that does not want to come down. Not even close. Sticking up there, it does not want to come down. So what I'm going to do is split it, put one side down, and then lay the other side over, and then we'll butt weld it together. Ah, I don't like finding sparks back here, but nope. doing there actually is we're shrinking the metal. When I say shrink it, it's good. We have to take some out of it. I'm in quite a spot. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible I say. Beat the metal all up. Just want it tight, that's all. Tight and right. Now you can see how as I laid that one down, this one wants to go over top of it, so we're going to put this down over top of it, push that down, you can see how that's going over top of that, that means that has to be shrunk, so let's shrink it. Let's do it again, get some more out of it. Her down and then about welded together. Put this on there. It's a true life struggle. It's true life struggle.
attack that little place right there and then I'll hit it again with the with the hammer and that way there it holds it down better a little bit of heat there we'll call that tight and right Alrighty, there's one tunnel that's made a little raise in it so I can get that transmission in that motor up higher. I had to do it. I had to do it to get it done. I could have took and, and uh, tried to cut that little piece off the transmission, but I don't think it would have got it high enough. I'm thinking that with this flat spot there, we're fine. That's fine. We just, that was too much metal there where, 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 where it wouldn't come down. So basically I know when metal gathers and it bunches up and it puckers, put a slice in it, get one side down, and then lap the other side over top of it and then splice it again. And that's how you're shrinking metal. So you watch me take metal out of that to get that in there. When I weld that all up like the rest of it and grind it, it'll be just fine. Now I can drag up my, my motor and my transmission and get it up in there higher. When it comes to the underneath of the car, I'm going to, I'm going to, when I get the body off, because there is some welding, I gotta do, I gotta do some welding underneath there. When I get the body off, then I'll be able to take the grinder and buff off all the rest of the metal. So it'll be, look like it's butt welded on and clean it up the best it can. And basically I left the excess metal on the tunnel because I did not want to make it too big and then have it so I have to do a bunch of welding to, to uh, fix it and uh, that's what I had to do so basically this is what I've done and we'll just check it over one more time basically this is what I've done I've taken this out that took away from my transmission tunnel and I put that in there so the transmission can come up higher. And that's basically what I've done. So I'm happy with that. When we open the hood up, you would never see that because the motor's way down behind that. We can't see the hole where we put for the uh, wiring harness. We can't see that. We're going to bring that up some. But that's going to allow my motor and transmission. Now I can jack on my transmission to my motor and bring that up without hitting anything. And basically it's going to give me what I need to get the motor in there straight and flat and right uh let's give away a hat or shirt i guess let's do it that was a struggle it was because of the positioning i was at also um I, I could have maybe taken out the seats and all that sort of stuff to get in there but um i did not do that i'm gonna let fina out kind of trying to do it um, without doing the, the most the most amount of work and it was a struggle to get in there and do that it was but i got it done I got it done. It's, 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 you know, what can I say? Trying to get something done and show you what I'm doing in an hour sometimes is a struggle and the struggle's real, like for everybody. Like when you're, when you're doing something sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go and as easy as you want it to go. So you really have to finesse it, work at it. Like I kept cutting that piece of paper, kept cutting that piece of paper bent it wrong and basically that's how it goes sometimes until you get it now that I've got that in there and I get that all welded around there nice and get that butt welder down the little seam I cut and buff it all off it's gonna look amazing and but it's gonna be hidden underneath the carpet but I needed it so I had to do it alrighty 413 comments we have a 413 baby we have a 413 over in the other garage with two four barrels on it never ever never done anything with it but there will be a day Jeff Smith has won a shirt or a hat of his choice, and the reason being is he has wrote in a comment. Be kind of slick to do something with a COP V8 ET Act. Yes, it would have not, um, have not got one. They're, they're, I think they're a, what are they, a, a, a 4.6 liter, I think. The COP cars have it for an engine. Um, there's a coyote engine. I'm not, I'm not sure 
about the wiring harness just like the 5.3 can you buy a, a wiring harness for the coyote engine to do the exact same thing haven't haven't got there yet hope to someday but uh, jeff smith you want to have a shirt of your choice i hope you had fun watching me struggle in there at the at the tunnel but it is what i had to do and basically when you're doing something like that like we might have caught the seat on fire there you really have to be careful like I, I, do, I do not want to burn the shop down because we got some cars we want to finish and uh, it would be a disaster. All right, everybody, have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.